thanks for coming back. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects and that's bullets, rounds, cartridges for my AR. I'm specifically going to talk about 556 versus my new favorite the 6.5 Grendel. Not the 6.5 Creedmoor. 6.5 Grendel. And I'll explain why. But first take a look. The 556, which is this one, is half the size the bullet of this hundred this is a fifty-five grain five five six bullet versus a hundred and twenty-three grain six point five Grendel. And uh uh the power at four hundred meters from the 6.5 Grendel, well, the red tip on it here, is equivalent to that of a 7.62 round or a round coming out of an M1, M1A, AK-47, and so forth. Now why that's important is because 6.5 Grendel at the same yardage has infinitely greater knockdown power at longer ranges. Uh, let me explain a bit about why that's important. The other thing is that the 6.5 Grendel fits in the same magazine as my 5.56 ammo. Runs on the same upper. I don't have to change anything except to get a 6.5 Grendel upper. Now, <clears throat> Why that's important? I mean, this. I mean, a lot of friends that I have are real fanboys of the 6.5 uh, Creedmoor, and these these uh, ladies and gentlemen are um, long range precision rifle people. I'm not a precision rifle shooter. I'm not talking about you know 800, 900, a thousand yards. What I am talking about is uh, zero to 400 meters. Uh, and the ability to have combat effective hits at those ranges. Um, the difference between the 6.5 uh, Grendel and the 5.56 regular AR ammo as we know it is that you get that with the 6.5 Grendel. Uh, the drop off is very little and I'll show you a couple of charts here shortly but uh, for, for, head, for knockdown power at longer distances, the 6.5 Grendel is far superior to the uh, 5.56 that we've come to know and love. Now, this isn't just me talking. I mean, the um, Department of the Army, Department of Defense has been looking at, uh, based on our experiences in Afghanistan, Iraq, and those places, they really did find out that the regular AR 5.56 just wasn't doing the job. Uh, and so what do, you, what do you replace that battlefield capability with? Uh, and again, you need knockdown power. Well, all the guys that do 6.5 Creedmoor are going, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. And I'm going, uh, hello, taxpayer, taxpayer. I really want our people to have knockdown power, but I don't want to break the bank. Enter the 6.5 Grendel. The beauty is, you can run the same round on the AR platform. All you have to do is get a 6.5 Grendel upper, right? And it'll run the same magazines as you've been running with the 5.56. So you can have your cake and eat it too. And you don't have to make a new gun. The lower is exactly the same. All of your accessories, lights, how you run the gun, exactly the same. So the soldier, the battlefield warrior, doesn't have to uh, learn a new uh, manual of arms for the, for the rifle, which would have to happen if you had to create a whole new rifle. And some people talk about, oh, uh, bullpup, bullpup. No. Keep, the, keep things with as little change as possible, but give the knockdown power to the battlefield warrior. So 
that's why I'm saying if you have a choice, um, you probably want to go with 6.5 Grendel instead of the 6.5 Creedmoor. And I know you Creedmoor fanboys are going to be out there. You're going to get all butthurt. I'm okay with that. But understand what I'm saying. I'm not a precision rifle shooter. Uh, we are talking about having the 6.5 uh, Grendel as part of the designated marsh marksman rifle, which is going to be, again, you know, out there three, 400 yards on the battlefield, uh, as well as normal self-defense hunting, the normal things we would use our rifle for. So without spending gobs of money, and uh, by the way, my 6.5 Grendel upper cost me $450. Two pins, bada bing, and now I'm shooting higher caliber rifle. And it zeroes, trust me, is super sweet. Um, and it stays flat, I mean, out there three, 400 yards, again, for combat effective hits. And hunt, that means hunting hits, by the way, although I wouldn't try to hunt something at 400 yards, 200 probably be my max if I had to do it. Uh, so that's my reason for this video is to put the word out that there is a, a round out there, why it's out there, uh, what my thinking is, uh, as far as giving the battlefield warrior the knockdown power they need at range, uh, and keeping things as simple as possible true. Uh, you'll get to carry fewer rounds for the same weight, but that's a trade-off with um, how, much, how much damage you can do to the enemy uh, with this new round. So, thanks for watching. Your comments are always welcome. Glad to hear from you. Carry on.